कि हाउ वुड वी कनेक्ट एंड वी वो पामनी डेटाबेसेस डेटाबेसेस और टेबल्स इत्यादि सो देर आर टू वेज टू डू दैट एंड बिफोर आई गो इनटू द वेज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी माइट आस्क आवर सेल्स इज दैट हाउ डू आई नो हाउ मेनी डेटाबेसेस आर देयर रनिंग फॉर माय पामनी इंप्लीमेंटेशन सो इन ऑर्डर टू सी दैट लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट आवर डॉकर कंपोज फाइल सो आई विल गो टू माय डॉकर कंपोज फाइल एंड इफ आई सर्च फॉर db i can see that a uh, lot of services a uh, lot of database services are you know uh, being hit so let's see there is this reports db mart db right metabase db so all of these services use their their own dbs and similar to all these services there is this open mrs database right open mrs db this is the service name of this the database so uh, this service let's say we we want to connect to it to see what is inside it what what is the data in it now in order to do that what i do is uh, first of all let me have a look at the, the profiles here right it says that this service has started as part of these profiles now i'll go to my terminal and i am in bamni light location and if i do docker compose uh Yes, I can see that Bamni Light. I already started it. Lots of containers are up, and since uh, OpenMRS DB is part of Bamni Light, I expect that it should be up, and I can confirm it. And I see, okay, yeah, it is up. Now, how do I connect to it? So, by connecting, I mean um, I want to connect to the Open uh, to the MySQL service that is running, right? Why MySQL? Because I know from here, from the service definition here, I know it's using MySQL image. now to confirm that uh, i can also have a look at this environment variable for the image inside dot env and this tells me okay it's using mysql 5.6 anyway so we have to now we are trying to connect with that mysql service now the problem is not the problem actually the, how this uh, mysql service uh, is working is that it's running inside this container inside the open mrs db container right so from my host machine i cannot directly make a connection we already saw that if something is running inside the container we have to get inside the container right now one of the ways to do that is we can use the command that we saw yesterday the docker exec command docker exec command as we saw it helps us to execute commands on docker uh, docker containers right so i can do, say docker exec give the container id which uh, i can get you know uh, which uh, but i can use a simpler method because we are using docker compose and docker compose is uh, supposed to make our life easier so i can simply call the service name for of this service for for, for uh, open mrs db i can see that the service name is open mrs db so i can simply say docker compose exec i'll give the service name and now what command do i want to execute i want to make an in, uh, launch an interactive shell right so i'll do minus it sh it enter i see i am inside the container now so whatever i see here is coming from inside the container now i want to connect to the my uh, mysql service so for that uh, the uh, how how do i do that i can say my sql and give the username password right that's the usual method that we use so now how do i get these credentials right okay i know i want to see open mrs db uh, username db password how do i know those credentials now easier way to do that is i'll go back to my docker compose file here and i see that i'm passing some environment variables here to this uh, service right what are the environment variables i see okay this root password my sql root password is being passed the database name is being passed uh, open mrs db username is being passed right so okay i'm interesting in knowing these two values for now as an example uh, let's look at my sql user okay i can see that there is this variable which is which is being used here to pass the value to my sql user and this variable will be the value is coming from the dot env file here i will search for it and i see the value is open mrs user and the password is password right so this is how i find the credentials now i can go back to my container and type you know the user manually Uh, something like open mrs user and hyphen p password uh, i can do that or another way uh, since 
these values are already being passed to the service, it means that these values will already be present there. So if I go back to container and do a print env, it will show me what are the environment variables that are already uh, set in the shell. I see that, okay, MySQL database name is already being uh, passed there. The username is there, password is there already. Okay, let me just reuse these variables, right? How do I do that? Uh, simple command, I can just copy this. It will automatically populate the other values, uh, the, the values of those variables. And once I paste the command here, I see that, okay, I'm already inside MySQL service and I can do show databases, uh, sorry, right? It will show me all the databases, etc. So this is how, can, how I, can, I can make connection to the D. This is one method. Now, there is another method, which is uh, simpler than this, which uses uh, UI. Uh, so if I go back to my slides now, uh, I open this link. Now I see that this PHP MyAdmin, which most of us might have already used. Okay, uh, the, there are official Docker, Docker images being pushed to Docker Hub about this. Okay, why don't we use this, right? Uh, if I scroll down here, I see there is some documentation given on how, do, how we can use this image. Uh, I will scroll down to the part where they talk about how do we use this in a Docker Compose file, right? Because we are using Docker Compose to launch all of our Tomni services. So I can simply copy this definition, go back to my Docker Compose file, because this will be another service that we will be adding to our uh, existing Docker Compose, right? So I can paste it anywhere, it doesn't matter because this is simple YAML. Uh, I can paste it here and when I, if I now do uh, Docker Compose up, Docker Compose will know that, okay, uh, all the other services are running. This is a new service and I'm supposed to launch it and it will pull this image, uh, start the container, right? Uh, now, before I do that, a uh, question that might come is, hey, why are we, you know, if this is one single service, why are we putting it in Docker Compose? Why can't I just simply do Docker run or Docker pull and Docker run of this my uh, PHP my admin. That is because we want this to be present in the same network as that of the other Bamini containers, because it has to connect to our databases that are there in the Bamini light network, right? And when we do Docker compose up, Docker compose creates, uh, puts all these services in the same network. That's why we, we put it here. Okay. Now, should I do Docker compose up? Uh, and before I do that, I have to look at these ports, right? We are exposing port 8080 for this. So if I, uh, on this port 8080, currently this port is already occupied by the proxy image. How do I know that if I go to localhost uh, 8080 currently? So I see that, uh, okay. Maybe something else is running there. It's Hello. probably incognito. Yeah, incognito. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, uh, maybe something is not running on 8080, fine. I can maybe start this or else I'll just give it a different port, say 82, uh, save it. I'll do a Docker Compose up again. Um, Docker. This time, what will happen is this PHP my admin will be launched. Now I'll try to access it. And I see the login page here and it's expecting a few parameters to log in. It wants to know the server username and password. Now server, we can simply give the service name of our DB, which we are trying to make a connection to. Uh, I'll go back to my Docker compose file. Uh, what is the service name for, let's say I want to connect to OpenMRSDB again using PHP MyAdmin. I'll just copy this service name, paste it here. Again, username, password I want, go back to Docker Compose, ENV values, because that's where from we are passing all these parameters. I'll copy the username. Put it here. Password is password. 
and I am logged in. I can see this is a DB here, OpenMRS. Uh, these are all the tables. I can maybe open a table and see the data, everything. So this is another approach. Now this approach, we would not recommend to use this in a production environment. This is This can only be used for development environment for now. And uh, another thing I want to point out here is that we already saw, right, all the credentials here are, these are the default credentials with which we ship Bamni. And it's recommended that as soon as you start your Bamni Lite instance or any other Bamni Docker, Docker based instance on your systems, you should change these default credentials as soon as possible because uh, everybody, they, they, all these credentials are public and uh, it, it can be very dangerous to not uh, change them. And in order to change the credentials, you can refer to this documentation here, changing default credentials. And I put it in the chat. Okay. Hmm. Have a look at it. So that's how we connect to a DB. Any questions, any thoughts? If not, then <clears throat> Mohan will uh, talk about how do we view the logs. Over yeah. to you, Mohan. Yes. Uh, I saw a question in the chat. Uh, if I want to create a database from an OpenMRS backup dump that is not starting okay. with an entity, where do I start the path? I'll take up that question. So currently for OpenMRS, we don't have, we, we have not thought of that process for uh, restoring from a DB. There is no volume mounts that are enabled now, but we'll soon uh, give you the documentation steps on how do you take your older data from OpenMRS and then start it on with this container. Because now when you, restore your database from your older setup or let's say from your database you should take it it's not only about the database there would be some other files associated for example the forms data the form metadata and the patient images document so we'll document the steps soon uh, when we and that would be available for both bumni light as well as bumni Star. and then we have another question can the new credentials be added directly on the env file yes okay. so yeah, Umair, you can take that up. Okay, I'd like to take it up. Uh, yes and no. Uh, there are some services where we, when when it it uh, when we start the service, it initializes everything and initialization accepts uh, you know a few inputs in the form of the credentials uh, from env files. So yes, some services we can do that, but for others, we can't. So that's why there is we have written a detailed documentation of you know how we can, I mean, which services can be directly changed in .env file and uh, how we can change the others. Yeah, so mostly, for example, once you clone the Bumni Docker repo, if you are starting, if you if you feel like you want to start with the different credentials, go head over to the .env file. You can change all the database related credentials, for example, DB usernames, DB password, everything. You can change it in the env and you can fire the Docker compose up command. So once you do that, all your database usernames and passwords would be updated with that, but will come up with a new one. But for some other things, for example, there are some atom feed username credentials, which are already created by the application through some migrations or user management. So those would be there. For that, you need to first change those in the UI and then update your .env. Right. Yeah. So those are all the steps that has been documented in the link that Umair shared. Yeah, and then taking up the next question, if PHP my admin is not recommended in production, what would you suggest for a production environment? Yeah, so in production, it's better that, you know, you close all the access to the databases, but if you still want a UI or if you want to get into the database, it's better you take it up to the, get into the machine and then view the databases. Or if you feel that you need a UI, please make sure that you put up firewall rules, and then you expose it only to a certain group of people so that the database is not compromised by any chance. Okay. Yeah. 
so the next topic would be about viewing logs of the container so before we get into that topic let's have a quick break uh, it's 3:42 let's start at uh, after 8 minutes let's start at 3:50 3:50 ast